Today on B Rad Games and More, we're going to add some realistic exhaust. So, the first thing you have to do, first, very first thing, is you have to have a plan. Now, I plan on adding realistic exhaust to a truck that I have and that I like. So, I have this Peterbilt 388 right here. And I'll go ahead and pull it up so you guys can see which truck it is. Pull it up in Giants Editor. And before you do any editing, you always want to change your camera view. But this is the truck. It's gray and white. It's a good looking truck. And we can pull up the scene graph objects and look down through. And what I'm looking for is exhaust particles. right? There. And right now, I'm just looking at the exhaust path. 0, 16. The other one should be 0, 17. Yep. Okay. So, I know what the node index path is. And that's for use in the XML. So, I really don't need to do anything in this Giants Editor. So, I can actually close this out. And I don't need to save anything. I just was curious what was the index path. I have a Frank and Pete, which is a Peterbilt, which the realistic exhaust has already been placed on it. So let's go ahead and pull it up. Now you'll notice that it has particle system. But I'm curious as to I think that's where the dynamic ex or the realistic exhaust is okay so here we have dust particle system i3d we have new real particles we have real particles I believe this is the file that we need and in this particular mod everything was nice and come um, placed in its own separate folder so what we can do is copy from the Frank and Pete. And we're going to come over here to the Pete 388. And we're going to put paste it. Okay. Now where it becomes a little more difficult is deciphering which, which part of the which part of the XML do you need to move from one XML copy paste into the other. So let's pull up the Frank and Pete's XML. And if you'll notice, it started its life as a Peterbilt 388 XML. So I'm going to guarantee you that the node indexes are going to be the same. So here we go. Peterbilt 388 flat top this is the gray and white one that I just had pulled up in Giants Editor. Now, as you go down through the mods XML, this is going to tell the X going to tell the mod how to physically exist in the game. You have all your wheel information, size, radius, width, um, suspension travel and, and, and on and on down here is your speed or horsepower <laughs> excuse me and we have the amount of cameras now you can add as many cameras to a mod as you want so you know one of the things about like uh, Euro truck or American truck simulator is the eight or nine different camera views well you can do that in this the only one that you can't do to my knowledge is the like the Hollywood view or the uh, film camera view. I don't believe you can do that in this. But, but you know, almost anything is possible. If, if you can script it, it can happen. Um, lights, brake lights, reverse lights, turn signals, indoor HUD, animations, tatcher joints, steering. And I'm just looking for the exhaust. And I believe I just found it. And look, exhaust particle system count two. 
exhaust particle system 1, node 0, 16. And then this is the file path, particle systems, real particles, I3D. So this tells the game where to go get the information from in the mod folder. So what we need to do, and we don't need the exhaust flap, because we this particular truck does not have the exhaust flap. The Frank and Pete does. And the exhaust flap is the rain cap on the end of the exhaust pipe. Okay, so we only need exhaust particle systems to exhaust particle systems. And we want to copy. And we will just minimize. We're going to go over here to the 388 and we're going to open its XML. And if you notice, it dropped in and over here. This is, and it is titled the same thing. Peterbilt 388 flat top, Peterbilt 388. Because the Franken Pete and this Pete started out as that tan and dark brown Peterbilt 388 that was first released um, like within a month of Farm Sim 15. Okay? So this mod is based off of that truck. So we want to go down here to, oh, somewhere in this vicinity. Okay, exhaust effects. And we want to bypass the in-game exhaust effects. So what we will do, and we don't want to delete it, because if it doesn't work out, we want to be able to go back to it. Okay? So let's go in here, and we'll just enter, hit enter twice. You know, after this line, you just... You just hit enter, drops you down. So in here, we've made space so that there isn't anything going on. We'll go over here to the uh, extreme left-hand side of the page, and we will right-click, and we'll hit paste. And it dropped in what I had copied for earlier. Okay, so now to make the exhaust effects of the original mod not conflict with this one, we want to go into the last exhaust effects and just bef just between the s and the greater than symbol we want to put dash dash now up here on the first exhaust effects we want to go exclamation point dash dash see how that entire phrase turned blue that takes this line it, it's telling giants editor to skip over these lines and just keep going so now we have the exhaust particle systems here in the XML. And what we will do is hit save. Now I want to go back to the other, um, oops, sorry, the other Frank and Pete. We want to go to the Frank and Pete. And we want to make sure that that is all we need and let me pause the video for a second because um, I worked all day and I'm a little bit tired and rum dummy and I don't want to give you guys some bad information so um, hang tight for the exhaust you do not need anything from the mod description so we are good here so let's go back to this um, this is the Frank and Pete that we copied from the Peterbilt 388 is the one that we we uh, dropped it into. So there's our new lines. So we're good to go. So we're and we've already saved it. We can hit it save again. But we're done. Okay. Now the th store. This is the Franken Pete. So we don't need it. This is the uh, one we added the real exhaust to. So let's look at store P388DDS. Just it's this helps you. Ah, and that is pretty standard um, photo. Doesn't really help you when you're trying to purchase the truck in the store. So what you can do for the time being is come in here in paint.net and this is a free program you can download from just go out on Google and type in paint.net and you can get this. Um, the 
notepad editor that I was using is notepad plus plus and that again is a free to use you can get that download it from the internet so let's go here underneath the truck and let's type in gray slash white and let's make the font a little bigger so we can see it let's go 20 down and let's change the color to white or um, bold now yeah, we should be able to see that I would think okay so let's save the photo file save and then while we're here let's go ahead and look at the image size 256 by 256 so we're good um, what I'm looking at the size for is because of the power of 2 power of two if um, you watch Carolina boys um, what is the power of two and he explains that Giants editor uses um, the power of two two squared uh, to the two to the nth power so two times two two times uh, four two times eight two times sixteen and so on So you get um, better. Giant's editor performs better if all of what it draws from, as far as UVs and um, images, it works better if everything's under the power of two. And it's an actual error if you change this to just some random number. So be aware of that. So okay, we're done. We're done here anyway. So we've saved it. We'll close this up. And I'm sorry if I'm rambling. I will, I sometimes tend to do that when I am tired. So I apologize. Now I've made mistakes doing this before. But I, what I want to do is I want to zip it back up and put it in the mods folder. Now I want to make sure that I haven't zipped it up and left the zip file in this folder because I have done that before and it effectively doubles the size of your mod okay so from here to the bottom we're good now if you have some other form of compression software it's going to be a little different I use WinZip so I go up here and I click on the top I go down to the bottom I go shift oh I'm sorry I, w I didn't hit shift I forgot to hit shift so let's start over click on the top file scroll down hit shift click highlights them all right click win zip add to Peterbilt 388 zip okay easy peasy so just in case what I did fouls things up once we go here I'm going to rename this because the zip folder can be named anything it does not the name of the zip folder does not dictate anything to the mod so you could come in here and put your personal name and you could put in a Brad a Steve a Bob and you would have three of the same mod in the everything would look the same in the store but it would be three separate mods okay so we want to rename this to 388 and we could just call it uh, uh, gray underscore and white okay and we're good now we'll drag and drop it to my mods and I have a shortcut on my desktop that goes straight to my mods if you guys don't know how to make a shortcut that's not the mods folder sitting on my desktop that's a shortcut to the my mods folder and uh, maybe I can quick show you how to do that if you don't know if you already know how please fast forward but how to make a shortcut to your desktop right click on your desktop new shortcut browse well I know where my mods folder is right so um, computer actually it's under documents and I thought well, well see oh I'm messing
messing up. Sorry, guys. Libraries. That's where it is. Documents is under libraries. So, documents. My documents. My games. Uh, farm sim. And mods. And that would be it. Okay. So then it pulls up the file string, file path, user MSI, documents, and my games, farms, and mods. Next. Next. And type the, and you put in anything you want. I put in FS15 mods, but for just for now, I'll just do that. So if I go over here, boom, there's my mods file. But it doesn't take up any memory space on my desktop. It's just, uh, it's a hyperlink. So we, I already have it. So I just wanted to show you how you get it to there, okay? And it's just it's handy for if you download, you just drag and drop, drag and drop, okay? Yes, we're done with that. So we put the yes, we did, didn't we? We put it in the mods folder. Three eighty eight. Um, gray and white. So we're done with this. So let's go into FarmSim. And I use Steam. So let's go into Library. Let's go to Play the Game. And I have the Map for Modders. And the Map for Modders is very useful if you are going to edit or create mods. And the reason being is there are crops, there are bales, there are hills, there are uh, it's different terrain, and it is very handy. There are crops grown. There is um, there is an area for a, a silo. There's you can put grain in the back of your truck, go around and dump it. So it's a great. This is a great tool to use if you're going to edit mods. So we don't need to scan the fields, okay? And I have some other trucks already here that I've been working on. <coughs> but let's go to the store and let's look for that Peterbilt 388. So we're going to go to the mods folder, trucks, and we're looking for, these are the trucks that are sitting out there in front of us. There's the Franken Pete. See the exhaust? Now we should have two Peterbilt show up that say uh, white and uh, gray and white. There's one that says black. There's one. There's the gray and white. Okay. So let's buy. Um, well, that one also says white and gray. Oh, maybe I only moved it. Oh, that's right. Because I changed the name, it's only going to show up once. So, okay. There we go. The other one, on the other hand, is this one. So let's buy that one. So these should be the same. It's the same truck. One is before the exhaust, and one is after. There we go. Two identical trucks. So let's go over here. And I can't tell the difference. I mean, they are both the same truck. Absolutely the same. So let's fire this one up and see what we have for exhaust. So we've got a lot of exhaust coming out of that thing. Okay. Let's go check the other truck just to show that this is the original truck. kind of confused as to why. So there we go. Now I have not tried whoa. One thing I wanted to try was can you do both? Can you stack both exhaust effects on top of each other? And I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. Because one is adding smoke and the other one is adding a thermal effect a heat wave. So there we go. That's how you add real exhaust to your mod. Well thanks for watching guys. I hope that helps you in adding effects to your mods. 
um, maybe gives you a little bit of um, a little head start on something you might want to try uh, please hit like if you like the video hit subscribe if you want to watch more these kind of modding type tutorials I'm, I'm gonna try and do more of so you guys uh, keep the rubber side down the shiny side up and uh, we'll catch you later alright bye